Hi, I'm Natasha Baker and I'm Golly Galosh's sponsor rider. This is Cabral, or as we call him, JP, and this is my trainer, Lisa Hopkins. Um, I hope you enjoy watching our lesson. Two, three. Is that better? Much better. That was really good. It's only taken me a year to get that up. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then Hicks dead. So we should perhaps just today just do a couple of those canter trot counters on the long side um, and walk trots. He felt much more upright on the left canter today. Good, well let's have a little trot and a canter warm up. So we'll still keep thinking today of making sure he stays nice and sharp on all your aids. Good, looks lovely. So we'll do one, one trot circuit and then a little bit of canter warm up each way to get you loose. <clears throat> and we can work through a few of those canter strike offs as well. <clears throat> Good, so that's canter on the short side. Good, looks much more upright through the corners. Just take him a fraction lower in his neck. Just make sure that you feel like he's really over his back enough. Just in that first canter. Yeah, good. Do a big, big circle here and then we'll just go on the quarter line and you can do a little bit of bend changing just to get him to relax over his neck a bit more. It's better. <clears throat> and try and keep that bend in your left elbow. And then just gently change the bend a little bit. Just good. Do that down the next quarter line as well. Better. Good. And then let's come on a 20 metre circle at B and a little bit of medium on the circle. Just some small transitions. Yeah, and back a little bit and then go again. Good. A bit more each time. Good. Yeah, well done. <coughs> Okay, and now transition again, go. Good, it's better. It's really good to show a clear difference at the start. Then you can come back a little bit more progressively into your working canter. Let's have one more transition off here. Real clear start to your medium canter. Yeah, good. Good, well done. And then stretch him on the outside a little bit again. <coughs> And then go down the next long side and counter trot, counter between E and K. Mm. Yeah, that's not there. <laughs> well done. So just use your upper body, trot, and go. Yeah, well done. A little bit quarters in, so let's have one more down here. Keep thinking a little shoulder four in your trot. Well done, good. Super. Change the rein and let's trot at X <coughs> and canter again in the F corner. <coughs> and that's the same as your test. <coughs> good, so we'll go on the quarter lines, a little bit of that bend changing, first of all. So just stretching him on the outside so he becomes a little bit lower. Good, lovely. Super, okay, so on the circle at E, <coughs> your medium canter transition again. Okay, 
so not quite enough. Let's go again. And when you're ready, come off at E and go again. Real difference. Okay, back again, and now go straight away, and go. And again, yeah, well done. And then this time off E, go. Yeah, better, good boy, better. That was better length of stride that time. Well done. Look, keep looking straight between his ears. And then we'll go on the long side, canter, trot, canter, on both long sides. If you keep thinking, looking straight between his ears, that will keep your shoulders straight. Okay, doesn't matter, just rebalance a bit. And now canter. Good, and then we'll do it again on this side. So perhaps you're a little too forward in the trot. Balance, and then transition. One more time. Good, and then trot. Yep, so he's not quite hearing you, is he? <coughs> Do one on the circle again. Just repeat your canter trot canter on the circle once. Get it a little sharper, and then we'll go back to the long side. Good, little touch with the whip next time, yep. Well done. And again, trot canter. Good. So good idea to go back and do it somewhere that's easier and then you go and repeat the difficult movement again. So once more on the circle and then we go back to the long side. Yeah, better, good. Just make sure you keep enough outside rein in that strike off because he just wanders a bit through that shoulder and then you get a slight delay in that reaction. So let's go on the long side again. <clears throat> Well done, better, yep, good, super. Okay, and then we'll have a nice trot transition and a little walk break. And then we can make use of the walking, cooling him off a little bit to do some halts and some walk pirouettes. That look good. Let's just do on the long side a couple of walk halts and make sure he's square. Right hind. Good boy, super. Good reaction. And remember we talked the other day about trying to feel. So next time, if he's not square, I'll tell you and then you've got to see what it feels like. So doesn't necessarily mean when they're square that they're going to feel straight underneath you. <coughs> okay, so what do you think? So he's actually dead on square there. So have a feel of that, and if he feels a little bit down on the left, might not necessarily mean he's out on the left. We'll see if we get one that's out on the left, you can feel the difference then. <coughs> Otherwise you'll do what I do and correct him when he was square. <laughs> what do you think? but much dead square again. Yep, so let's keep going. <laughs> That's why it's great to have someone on the ground or the mirrors, because you can't always <coughs> rely completely on feel. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on, JP, we need you to do a, a crooked one so that we can tell the difference. Let's turn across and do some on the serpentine. He's being Mr. Perfect today. <laughs> it is. Okay. Go back off to the left. And do a little quarter walk pirouette on the next corner. So you can do quarter walk pirouette, a halt, another quarter walk pirouette. And on this side, just prepare that walk pirouette with a little bit more bend because we know he wants to try and whip round a bit on this one. 
Good, really nice. And then we'll have a halt across here. <coughs> no, right, sorry, left hind. So a little bit off in front and then the left hind. So just have a feel of that. Yeah, better, good. It probably just feel a little bit more dropped than when it's square. Yeah. Okay, then walk out on another quarter walk pirouette. Good. Right, a little bit more activity here, and then we'll do a half pirouette on this side. Yep. So watch that he doesn't fall through that left shoulder. Just to work with a little bit more bend before it, and then we'll do a half one this time. So you're almost sinking shoulder in before you make the half pirouette so that he doesn't come round with the shoulder too quickly. Yeah, good. It's okay. I would like it a little tighter behind still, but the steps are good now. There's no hesitating. So let's do a quarter one here and a halt. Yeah, that was a bit slow. So make sure your walk pirouettes are still in the same walk tempo. Good, really good. Yeah, so a little quicker. Yeah, that's it. Another quarter one. Think marching. <clears throat> yeah, much better. Because the judge doesn't want to see real difference in the walk rhythm. One more quarter one, and then we'll do another halt, and then a half. Yeah, so no hesitating. You've got to think a little quicker with your seat. And halt. Uh, yep. <laughs> He's heard our, our practice idea and it's not playing. Good. Okay, so we'll do a half one down here okay. and then we'll do some trot halts. So just watch she doesn't start to turn too early. Keep up the tempo. Good. Yeah, that was probably a little bit stepping out. So if you can, yeah, do another one that way and think a bit more active with that outside leg, but not before you've turned the shoulder. You've always got to think, turn the shoulder first and then start giving your leg aid. <coughs> Because he's quite keen to start a bit quarters in otherwise, but you actually need them in on the second part of the turn. <coughs> That's it. So think one step with the shoulder and then the outside hind looking after the quarters. Yeah, a bit better. <coughs> one more time. Just a little touch now. Good. Yeah, That's it. Yeah, and then really sit to the inside. Yeah, well done, good. Much better, yeah. Okay, let's have a few uh, center line halts and we'll make sure you go a bit past X. <clears throat> and if you feel you need to, don't halt. If you get one where he backs off, <clears throat> in trot. Good, lovely transition. He looks really good on the bit today. Yeah. So actually, let's circle here and do your center lines down towards the mirror so you can have a good look at the straightness. <clears throat> yeah, that's exactly what you need to do on the Sunday. You get that little bit where he feels like he's backing off at all, then you're going to give him a little wake up. Good. <coughs> so what do we think squareness? <laughs> he stepped it up now, and then now he's square, yeah. So it was just that left time was a bit behind. Yeah. Good, and then active transition. 
<clears throat> yeah, so that was a little bit slow, wasn't it, that time? Let's do one down the long side here, just halt, trot. So on the long side, you could practice your move off more. Good. Yeah, it's, that, it's, that yeah, it's definitely square. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, a little too much walking into that one, but super halt. So active move off. Yeah, well done, exactly. <clears throat> and again on the long side. <clears throat> Good tip to spend a lot of time working on centre lines and halts. It's the first impression you give the judge. Starts them off on their eights and nines. So that wait. That was a really nice, clear transition. So let's get that once on the centre line. Yeah, there's a fraction off on the right hind, but probably not quite enough to correct him. Okay, there we go. Now he's stepped back. Yeah, okay, good. Good boy, super. Okay, let's have a couple of medium trots. So just um, change the rein and we'll do your the first one off the left. Give yourself a little bit of work on the short side to get him <coughs> active. <coughs> They're feeling great today, so let's go for a good one from the start. A little bit of left flexing, make sure he's really pushing. Super, good. Well done. And then we'll try one off the left side. So remember, you've got to keep hold of that left shoulder. Don't let him drift. Okay, and then I think we'll do that one once with your whip on the other side. Okay. Because <laughs> it's still that tendency to drift through the shoulder that means the steps aren't so good on this rein. <clears throat> Yeah, can you feel that slight curve in his body, even on that side? So as you come off this shoulder, just a little tough tickle on the shoulder. Sorry, off this corner. Yeah, that wasn't enough. Give him a little tickle now. You go once on the long side. Wakey, wakey. Long side. Yeah, well done. And then bend him left a little bit here, a little bit around the deeper, and then one more long side. You just have to convince him that he's not to back off. Yeah, well done. Better, better. Just see if you can have a little bit more contact in your left hand, in your left fingers. Just let him pull a little bit. Close your fingers on the left. Yeah, well done. And now rebalance on the circle. That's it. Circle and then just bend him a little bit inside. Well done. Because your left leg is a bit looser, he has that space to disappear a bit through that side. And then diagonal again. So strong in, stronger in your left hand. Yeah, well done. Good. Good. That was better in your seat as well that time. Super. And now find the right speed for your trot. So just watch it's not too quick and then just go through a little bit of changing direction. Doesn't have to be your serpentine. You can do just those shallow loops on the center line. Just that bending work. But without him coming back in the trot. Lovely. Good. 
And that's quite a good thing to do in your warm up again. Just that shallow bending, just checking that the suppleness is the same both sides. And that he doesn't lean through your left leg when you bend left. <coughs> And then move him a little bit over to the right on this one. Yeah, just have to think, you have to ride the curve into him more on the left side. Whereas it's naturally there on the right, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Once more and then you can finish. So when you go through to that left curve, think about just riding him right to the edge of the curve. So push him into the right rein. Yeah, well done, good. Good, super outline today. Good, and walk transition. Walk, active, well done. Looks good? Feels good? <clears throat> do you want to do one walk to canter? <clears throat> on the left, just so you've got that ready for the test at the weekend. And then, am I seeing you before Hickson or not? I don't think so. No, okay. If we can, <clears throat> we go through the test. On Monday, maybe Monday. Yeah. I think that's the only day, isn't it? Then you're at Widmer and I'm going to Hickson. Sorry? Because you're leaving Tuesday, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, we could do some stuff down there Thursday yeah. <coughs> um, but I'll see if I can it may even yeah we'll try and do maybe it might only be him Monday if Suki's going to the show because we yes. well we'll see see how she is today <coughs> see how much work she needs let's see yeah yeah because what we need to just do a little bit of your leg yield work really for your freestyle yeah <coughs> Okay, so just walk and let's do it again. He was a little bit too loose in the contact, perhaps. I think you, when you know it's going to be the walk to canter, yeah. you've got to gather him up a bit more and make sure he knows it's different to the trot. So just maybe think slightly shorter rein and a sh slightly shorter walk, but only from the end of the corner to C. A okay. little bit of bending. So you give him a signal that it's going to be a different transition. Yeah, better. Okay, he did anticipate with the little trot steps, but that's fine. One more time. <clears throat> Good. Nice down transition. So keep the walk big here, and then you just shorten it for those last two or three metres before the strike off. Just one or two trot steps, but nice. It's good for a novice test, that would be fine. <clears throat> good boy. Well done, good, nice down transitions. Okay, let him stretch. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. So let's. <clears throat> now do it straight away again. <clears throat> Yeah, good. Well done. <clears throat> it will allow you that little bit of tipping forward because that's your aid. That's my aid. Although <laughs> I can't get my legs no, back. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> my body works in mysterious ways. <laughs> good, super. Really good. Okay, trot and then a little bit longer in the neck in the trot. Just give him a little half a stretch. <clears throat> Well, he's looking great, really good, ready for next week. Oh, you've got to do stretchy circle, haven't you? Yeah. On Sunday.
Excellent. Just touching the side of the bit a little bit so he reaches for it slightly more if you can. I know it's not so easy sitting. I feel your pain having to do that in the advanced medium the other day. <laughs> Good. This is when no stir is kind of uh, coming to it. <laughs> okay, a walk. Good boy. Good. And we'll have some more nines for that free walk on Sunday. Yeah. And more importantly, next week. <laughs> Yep. I hope you enjoyed watching our lesson as much as I enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.